Hi, welcome everyone to V1 level. So today we're gonna speak about sport topic and revise some, some conditional sentences and I hope that you study the new kind of conditionals, uh, especially the third conditionals and uh, conditionals with models. So let's start. I hope that you like it. Firstly, let's revise what does it mean conditionals. Conditionals, it's such kind of um, uh, sentences where they have some conditional and have some possible consequences if that con uh, conditional will be done. So, uh, firstly, and first type of conditional is a zero conditional. We use zero conditional uh, we speak about some facts, general truths, or something like this. Mostly for that kind, we use uh, present simple. Sometimes, surely, we can use present continuous. Uh, but in general, it's um, like regular sentences uh, in present simple about something general are totally clear and simple. For example, if you add 2 and 2, you get 4. Uh, so it's normal, yeah? Or uh, if uh, uh, the, boil, uh, the water uh, boils, that means uh, that its temperature is 100 degrees. Something like this, yeah. So it's very clear, and we can uh, that conditional uh, we use uh, mostly to describe some natural um, effects or some even formals in mass or some rules. It just for so very basic thing. The next one, it's the first conditional. Uh, we use it to speak about very probable and very possible actions and um, situations in future or even in present. For example, uh, if I see him, I will tell him that he could. So, as you can see, uh, we are in conditional part, yeah, after conditional verb, we use present simple and in another part that uh, tell us about possible or probable consequences if that conditional will be done, we use future simple. One more example. Um, if I get up early, I uh, will see a sunrise. Uh, so, uh, after um, remember, yeah, in conditional zero, we use in both parts of sentence present simple, or uh, rarely, very rare, uh, present continuous. In first conditional, we use the uh, um, present uh, simple in first part after uh, conditional verb, with the part with condition, condition of something. And in a part that describes consequences, uh, we use future simple. Uh, generally, we speak about general truths and some facts. For that, we use the conditional. And for uh, very probable and possible actions or situations in the future, or even uh, sometimes in present, we use first conditional. So let's go on. Minutes of our revising, yeah. Uh, and the second conditional, what is it? Uh, we use that uh, conditional if we want to speak about improbable or imaginary events in the present or future. So, for example, uh, it's impossible for us to do it now or in future, but uh, 
in the second conditional we can uh, speak about our wishes yeah about our wants and uh, we can do it using um in part that describes some condition about uh, after conditional one uh, past simple and in other part uh, that uh, describes our possible uh, um, uh, our possible consequences if the if the um, condition will be done but we've got that it's impossible it's very difficult situation yeah but I hope that you can understand it we use uh, future in the past so it's just word plus word uh, mostly, very uh, very important thing I think um, that in second condition we use uh, um, yeah you know that uh, word uh, verb be in past tense that was or were, but in second conditional mostly we use were even for third person uh, or even for I. We use where and uh, now surely you can use was uh, for example if I was but um, just in uh, speaking and um, very like slang yeah it's not normal it's not from part of formal language and that's why if uh, you you use a uh, second conditional in some spelling or uh, in letter or some somewhere somewhere else are uh, better to use were not was even for uh, uh, unexpected for us subjects so for example uh, general form uh, of second conditional if I had money if I had enough money I would buy a big house. So, how we can translate? It's clear that you don't have money, yeah? It's impossible for you to buy uh, a big house, but you want. Uh, and if uh, if there is a part of miracle, yeah, and you really have such money, you can buy. Uh, and firstly, what you will do, that buying a big house. Uh, in uh, Ukrainian, we can translate it like "якби". У мене було достатньо грошей. Я мав достатньо грошей. Я б купив великий будинок. So the next one is a special example with where. Yeah, it's if I were you, I wouldn't have such man for a husband. Uh, Pay attention. Uh, it's uh, according uh, to what we are speaking about. But it's about where, yeah. We use here it, and in Ukrainian translation, that will be. Якби я була тобою, я б ніколи не ну ти не мала такого чоловіка за чоловіка. Ту людину, да, а, за чоловіка. Uh, very uh, important as for me that you can understand why we speak about our probable and use first conditional and where we uh, speak about our imaginary or impossible some events. Yeah, so especially uh, we speak about about both of them in one time but uh, you know how to separate them what is possible and that's why we use first conditional and what is totally impossible and we cannot imagine even that that can be uh, and uh, uh, that's why we use second conditional um, we speak a lot about conditional words and I wanted to speak to name them, to call them. Uh, yeah, it's not the full list of them, but it the most um, uh, usable yeah, 
the most popular and mostly you can meet them in conditional sentences. So first it's if uh, in Ukrainian that translate Yaksha and after if we use uh, we describe the condition that should be done uh, to get uh, some consequences. The next one is when, uh, Koli. Uh, it's very popular also. Uh, the same meaning uh, it got uh, in conditional sentences as if. Mostly all um, conditional words um, have the same meaning. They say us uh, about some condition that should be done. Uh, for some consequences, but uh, according to different condition, uh, conditions, we use different conditional words. So the next one is as soon as. Uh, in Ukrainian, that will be jak tylko. Or uh, we have such word as uh, unless. To ne zważajcie na. Until, uh, though, uh, for example, until some moments uh, of time, yeah, uh, some condition will be done, and that's why we have some consequences. Also, some possible as in order to or as long as. Uh, they means that uh, in order to sometimes we can translate as according to. Some condition again, and uh, it got some consequences. So I hope that um, you revise all <laughs> that you know about conditional sentences before. Now I propose you to form some uh, sentences with uh, conditional words. Uh, you're the conditional uh, zero. First conditional and second one. I give for you five minutes, and uh, uh, I also wanted to make some new sentences that you understand that it's really very easy if you know in which situation you can use them. So first one, my sentence is: uh, If uh, my brother. Um, If my brother do does uh, his homework, he will get a new gadget. So in Ukrainian that will be uh show me brat zrobić wsi swoje uh no swoje domatin zadanie bin otrimaya no we hajit. The next one. Uh, when uh, when the sun rises, um, the day comes. It's zero conditional uh, that we can translate as. Uh, Коли сонце підіймається, настає день. The next one is as soon as. Mm. As soon as he... Uh, mm. uh, as soon as he repaired uh, his car um, his family would go to the seaside як тільки б він відремонтував свою машину його сім'я поїхала б на море and i think that according to this that examples it's will be really very easy for you to make new sentences with the raised words and or new sentences with it. It's really 
very good exercise for you for revision and it's really uh, not bad practice even in vocabulary so let's go on and now we will speak about conditional so, so conditional yeah it's mainly topic of uh, our grammar point today uh, so when we speak uh, when we use that um, uh, that conditional we use it when we uh, uh, speak about the past uh, actions um, past situations yeah and uh, uh, we use it to describe a situation that hasn't happened at all for making uh, that kind of conditional we use in part uh, after a conditional war, uh, word yeah in part that describes some condition of something we use past perfect tense and instead that show us uh, uh, some possible consequences that hasn't happened unfortunately or, or likely uh, we use a few um, past um, we use future perfect in the past yeah. so for example uh, if I had seen you at first I would have said hello for example that how we can translate it maybe better to understand it in Ukrainian якби я побачив тебе that means that you haven't you didn't see uh, him uh, in future in past це значить що ви його не бачили в минулому минулому да тобто це вже завершена дія я б звичайно сказав тобі ну привітався сказав тобі hello а, тобто, а в нас була дія, яка в минулому вже відбулася. Однак, а, ми кажемо, що якби ми щось змінили, наприклад, побачили чи, не знаю, почули, да, наші дії також були б інші. Однак це вже все завершилось і зараз а, це не відбувається і не має впливу на теперішній час. А, another uh, example is I would have gone to see the movie with you yesterday if I hadn't seen it last week. Тобто, я б пішов з тобою на до кінотеатру вчора, якби я не дивився цей фільм минулого тижня. То дія вже завершена. The action is over. Uh, actually, I think that um, that conditional is really is enough, easy and clear. But um, in especially in such conditional, very often we can meet uh, some models construction. And what we have to we um, just put everything um, in the same way, but we can change the uh, help word from a uh, uh, future perfect uh, in the past good yeah and instead of it we put uh, some model word so mostly and you should understand it that models will be in the second part of sentences it, uh, it's not second according to it uh, placement yeah it's second uh, in meaning that first it's condition part but that describe some conditions and uh, models we use in part that describe some uh, some consequences that ha hasn't happened for example if I hadn't dreamt about it when I was a child I might not have found the way to build it how we can translate it якби я не мріяв про це коли я був дитиною я можливо не знайшов би шлях, аби це побудувати, аби рішення, як це буде. So, we can see here, yeah, that we use it uh, in a part uh, that describes uh, consequences of doing or uh, don't, uh, or 
uh, isn't doing uh, some condition here. Yeah? And uh, we put mono instead of wood. The next variant that is also possible. If I hadn't won the end game, I could never, uh, I could have never met, met him. For example, uh, in translation, that will be Yagbi Yana Parimik Ftiri, Ya Mil Binikole, Tabana Zestri. Однак, uh, however, uh, in uh, conditional uh, sentences, uh, there is also um, some variants when we can mix. Uh, they can be mixed. Uh, for example, if uh, we have one part from second conditional and the third part, the second part of the sentence is from the third or something like this. Actually, um, that. That cases can be if uh, you have some condition in future or in past, I'm sorry, but uh, the possible consequences is still now. Uh, uh, for example, um, there is some situation in the past, yeah, it's already, but you have some, uh, but some action from the past is uh, going till now and uh, uh, so going to present sense. For example, if he were a good friend, he would have helped you a long time ago. How we can translate it? That means that he is still your friend. Він а, би допоміг тобі а, вже досить таки давно. Да? То, а, ця питання з допомогою давно, це вже завершено. Ти вже не потребуєш цієї допомоги. Однак, він все ще твій друг. І це як оціночне судження з наслідку до умови. А, ще один one variant is... А, if they had told me the truth, I would know what to do. Uh, it's another variant when we are ha uh, when we have um, condition that has overt, yeah, in the past, but uh, the consequences is till now. Doctor, якби вони сказали мені правду, that means that they don't didn't. Uh, tell uh, to the Orsa the truth, yeah? Я б знала, що робити. Мається на увазі, що робити зараз. Це, там, в певній ситуації. But, generally, don't worry, mixed conditionals, they, uh, you can meet uh, in some texts, yeah, and according to the contest, mostly, uh, you can just uh, you can understand of what you should uh, use which part, but uh, if we speak about uh, some uh, um, just separate sentences, um, uh, again mostly they can be in one conditional and it will that will be you know it's and it's a uh, good use for you yeah. So now I propose for you to go to Lexi and to go to our topic at sport. Firstly, I wanted to recommend you uh, some words. Um, you can meet them if you speak about some, uh, even watching some uh, sport matches or something like this, yeah or if you are a fan of some sport, or even if you wanted to this, to tell with your friends about, I don't know, football, something like this. For that you can, um, or even if you are uh, playing in computer games, yeah, and you wanted to say that something is, is happened. The first thing is to break a record. What does it mean? Um, 
I wanna to make some sentences for you and then I will translate it and I hope that you've got the meaning of uh, some phrases according to these sentences. For example, yesterday I broke a record at my computer games. Finally, I'm the winner. Вчора я побув рекорд в моїй комп'ютерній грі. На кінець то я переможець. So, to break your record means побити рекорд. Uh, the next one is to compete in a championship or tournament. Actually, for me, it's uh, uh, to compete in as uh, the synonym of uh, such phrases to take part in. But, um, uh, the term Harry Potter uh, competed in a, a wizards tournament. Uh, Harry Potter принял участь взяв участь в турни... турнірі трьох uh, чарівників, да? а uh, oh, uh, his representatives are uh, of uh, uh, the USA who competed in a world championship. Uh, один представник США, який взяв участь в світовому чемпіонаті. The next one is uh, draw a game, to draw a game. That means when uh, uh, the um, record, uh, in the, uh, when the game ends uh, with equal points. For example, um, this, uh, uh, okay, the last goal, uh, draws a game um, with the record 1-1. One, one. In translation, that will be a standing uh, wall. Uh, we will reach your wall with a phone one one. Uh, um, uh, to draw a game means uh, uh, the to Якщо if uh, we use draw as a noun, uh, that means uh, ничья, просто якщо це вживається як мальник. The look the competition. I think that it's very clear. Uh, but for example, yeah, uh, it was very pity for them uh, to lose uh, that competition. Uh, їм було дуже жаль, uh, дуже прикро, що вони програли це змагання. So, to the competition means perhaps smile. Next one is to score points or to score goals. Everything is clear. The main uh, aim of a uh, football player is to score goals. Osnana meta futbolista zabuvata goli. In respect about score points, Mm, uh, that means заробляти uh, очки. Uh, it can be used in uh, different um, sports and as well in some computer games or something like this. Uh, also, we can say about set records. Yeah? What does it mean and which difference with first our ideas? That records means uh, to set some new some in your uh, line of uh, at yeah? For example, uh, he said record in a uh, um, Він встановив рекорд в біатлоні. So, set records mean встановлювати рекорд. To train, everything is clear. Uh, he trains a lot. 
uh, to win uh, in the uh, next competition. Він uh, тренується uh, багато, щоб перемогти в наступному uh, змаганні. So, as we can see, the next item is to win the competition, and we have already used it for the previous sentences. So, next one is to win the cup. Uh, in that, uh, we can speak about World Cup. For example, uh, I didn't know, but yeah. imagine, yeah. Ukraine won the World Cup of football. Ukraine won the World Cup of football. Um, the last one is to go in for sports. For example, she goes uh, in for sports for uh, seven years. Вона займається спортом сім років. So to go in for sports means займатися спортом. Давайте рухатися. Let's go on. And mostly, of us, um, it's not some professional sportsman or something like this, yeah, but uh, again, mostly we use some jeans or something like this, just uh, uh, to be fit and to uh, uh, be healthy. So, let's speak about some main phrases when we can um, hear from our coach or that we can use, uh, see in different, if we see some videos, yeah, of training, so something like this, we can meet them and we should know them. So, uh, warm up. What does it mean? Warm up, uh, it's um, some actions or something like this that we, we are doing before the training to in Ukrainian, that means розігрітися. The next one is to tone muscles. Tone muscles um, uh, means провести uh, мускулатуру uh, в тонус. That means that uh, during, uh, during warming up, you can tone muscles and uh, work out work out and then you can work out work out it's um, the main um, uh, part of your training yeah when you are doing some physically really uh, a lot of physical uh, exercises or something like this and uh, it's a uh, need from you really future resources uh, and uh, Energy. So workout is займатися. займатися основна частина. Uh, if uh, you ask someone why uh, why he or she is going to the gym, uh, you can have such answer as to get in shape or to shape up. What does it mean? Um, бути в формі. Для того, щоб бути в формі. To run on a treadmill, um, it's some action that you can do at um, gym or even at home if you have treadmill, and uh, yeah, it's like cardio part of <laughs> uh, cardio training. So treadmill, it's a бігова дорожка. Run on treadmill означає займатися на біговій дорожці. Uh, so, what about men? What they wanna do or, or what they gonna to do when they are gym? Firstly, it's to pump iron. If they wanna to have a really huge muscles, uh, biceps and triceps, yeah. Pump iron means uh, tat zalizo. Uh, very often, they can, you can meet uh, that you need to do uh, 15 push-ups or press-ups and 19 yeah, pull-ups. What does it mean? Push-ups or press-ups to do uh, push-ups to do press-ups means uh, 
and to do pull-ups – це підтягування. А підтягування на брусях – це десь. So, what does it mean to squat? Squat means присідання, присідати. Uh, also, maybe an uh, important part, part of each training yeah, it's very difficult to imagine it without it. It to do apps or to do sit-ups when your coach said do I don't know thirty sit-ups and you know you don't know what I mean. Sit-ups or apps, it's a uh, facciata press to lose some weight. Uh, maybe it's uh, the main aim of mostly uh, uh, mo most amount of people who go into gym. Uh, if someone asks you why you are doing it, you can answer, I just wanted to lose some weight. What does it mean? Tratate vahu, abo skudnate. The next one can be to keep their body toned. Uh, uh, it's also a pro probable answer to the question why you are going to gym. And that means that you want to be very fit. Yeah, uh, it's uh, like one more synonym, and uh, in Kenyan, the uh, toho be but the tilo Also, a lot of going to the gym for stretching the body. In Kenyan, the toho shop rustiagnutisya. Lastne za prebesti v tonu svoji mešte ne stilke, a be be to hnučka ima. Uh, if you are very sick and tired you've been training and you don't know how to call your coach uh, uh, just give you a few minutes for rest you can ask it um, in such way for example I need to take a breather uh, in Ukrainian мені необхідна передишка мені необхідно трошки відпочити uh, also, very often, take a breather or breather. Uh, it's um, the time between different sets of uh, of doing. Yeah. So let's go on. Sport equipment. Very often, and, uh, if we speak about gym, there is really a lot of sport equipment. But actually, also in um, at home, at homes we also have a lot of them. So let's first rowing machine. Um, rowing machine, uh, 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 in Ukrainian or in Russian, it can be like тренажер за греблю. Це коли ви підтягуєтесь і відкатуєтесь назад. Англійською це буде rowing machine. Treadmill, ми вже казали, це бігова доріжка. Exercise bike or bicycle. Uh, це не велосипед, це велотрек. Elliptical trainer. Elliptical trainer is known in Ukrainian as uh, orbit track. Uh, barbell. Barbell. It's real uh, equipment for strong, uh, <laughs> for strong men maybe. Uh, barbell is stanga, and according to barbell, we need weight plate. Weight plate, um, uh, well, uh, in Ukrainian slang, it can be a mlinci or mlinets. The last mlinci disk, which we put on the stanga and increase the weight of the body. Probably everyone from uh, uh, girls to men uh, use dumbbells. Dumbbells are hanteli. Uh, uh, also, if you wanted to pump iron, you need a kettlebell. If you want to use the kettlebell, you can use the kettlebell. kettlebell. Exercise mount. That просто це такий 
Кор, Ковер да, для занять. Дуже нагадує карімат за виглядом, як він трошки за інакшого матеріалу. Або його там ще для йоги можуть використовувати. Punching bag. Punching bag – це те, що в українській мові називається бійцівська груша. Uh, next one is bars. Bars uh, – це uh, брусья. Skipping rope or jump rope. Це скакалка. And the next one from now it's exercise ball. Mm, це такий а, кулька для занять, тобто фітбол ми дуже часто можемо зустріти саме цю назву. So, I think that it's enough uh, for you for sport equipment, it's the most Uh, usable, да? yeah, the most popular equipment that you can meet, but um, also you can meet fitness station, that means it's like it's even some group of uh, of, of, of uh, machines, they are mixed in one and there is different really, you can, you can do different exercises at it. Uh, Marilwe, I propose for you to now, even. You can write a few sentences using different spot equipment and different phrases, and just, uh, or you can uh, guess for your friend some uh, equipment with uh, which uh, he or she should make some sentences, and uh, he, he or she can do it for you also, and it will be a good opinion. A good occasion for you uh, to to form different sentences uh, with new words. So let's go on. Um, also, there is like a uh, new um, if you are first time at gym, uh, yeah, and your coach or trainer uh, ask you why you are here and what you wanna. Uh, you can use such phrases. So let's first coach a trainer. It's a person who trains you at gym uh, in Ukrainian trainer, everything is easy and clear. Newbie or rookie, everything. Um, uh, it's very light going novichok. Uh, in English, if you are just, it's your first time in gym and everyone can call you rookie. Um, if you are watching some video, you can meet some, for example, and now some tips or, or now some pointers. What does it mean? Tips or pointers uh, means parade a boy is такі дуже гарні, а, корисні штуки, які ти маєш знати. So, uh, to gain weight, what does it mean? It's opposite to lose weight and means that you want to uh, набрати масу, uh, but it's not just to be fat, yeah? That means that you want to uh, prove uh, um, improve your muscles, improve your biceps, triceps, and, or something like this. You can ask when I can start training, and that means коли я почну тренуватися. Or you can answer, for example, I would like to develop strength and um, enhance, yeah, or in, uh, in legs. That means я б хотів додати сили ногам. So you have very, um, uh, you have weak legs, and you wanted to make the, them stronger. Uh, also, you can say, I wanted to develop a defini uh, definition of muscles. Uh, in Ukrainian, we can say, я хочу зробити мускули більш виразними, то підтягнутися, да? If you see some uh, videos. Uh, even um, if you're speaking with your coach, 
um, she or she, he can say that uh, today they have some uh, exercises at the upper body. What does it mean? Today we will have the upper body on the upper body. So, uh, lower body means the upper body. Uh, how to understand the sentence? You need to do 15 reps and three sets. Reps is повторение. Uh, sets підходи. Uh, what is the defini- um, difference? Reps it's like repetition of one kind of exercise. In one set, maybe different kinds of re- of uh, exercises with some amount of reps, yeah, but um, mostly you, you can have like three sets of uh, repetition, the, the whole complex of exercises. Uh, so, sets, підходи, so it's like a complex, if you повторю, it's not one, just as it's not one, not one part of it, and the repetition is the repetition of one of the same things, it forms один підхід, там, певна кількість повторень різних прав. So, I think that uh, enough and now I want to speak about 10 the most popular idioms uh, in English uh, with a connected to this spot. So, to hit someone below the bust. That means unfair, ba- unfair play, yeah, when you are doing something broken, some rules. As you know, that I, as you can see, that Adeom is going from bugs, uh, from boxing where really is prohibited to uh, hit uh, your yeah, opponent below the belt. But actually, now we use it if you want to say that something that uh, rules uh, were broken or uh, violence and something like this. Another uh, idiom is going from darts and means uh, and is to hit the bull's eye. What does it mean? Потрапити в мішень в яблочко. Why? Uh, because the center of um, hit is uh, the same size as both sides, and that's why in uh, English lang- language that phrase is very statical. And uh, for example, you can use it even in uh, in um, discussion that don't have uh, any sense to support. Uh, for example, your idea hits the both sides, it's oversome, and in translation we can get a твоя idea of потрапила в яблочко, це неймовірно. Next one, a level playing field. That means equal conditionals or equal level of uh, participants. For example, um, it wasn't a level playing field uh, when a uh, um, professional uh, football players uh, have met, had a match with uh, children. Це не були рівні умови, коли професійні футболісти грали з дітьми. The next one is no holds barred. That goes from wrestling and means um, нема жодних заборон. Um, чи немає uh, заборонених прийомів. For example, it can be uh, attempted to policy, politics, yeah? For example, for politician, there is no holds barred. Everything can be used. Для політика немає заборонених прийомів. Все може бути використано. And the next one is out of one slick and it's going for from baseball it means that um, they're not at the same uh, uh, like for example at the same place at the same uh, conditionals yeah and can be used for example 
um, he's out of, uh, he's out of professional leagues. He's just a NATO. Він не в нашій лізі, не в лізі професіоналів. Він аматор. The next one, and maybe my favorite actually, odds are against someone, or the same one uh, is the odds are in some uh, someone's favor. Um, uh, that means that you have good chance, uh, chances, yeah. Or if you are see the Hunger Games, you can meet um, a very famous phrase. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. And that means Nehai uh that is as well. so odds are against someone, so the odds are in someone's favor. Uh, in Ukrainian це переваги чи шанси на одній Sink or swim. Um, um, in Ukrainian we can translate it a uh, punch of buff. So it's some extreme uh, situation when you need to react now and uh, uh, make some decision. And you know that if you, your decision will be good, it's really uh, and you'll get really a, a good to uh, some profits or something like this. But if uh, uh, you fail, that will be the biggest fail that you have uh, ever had. The next one is saved by the bell. Uh, it also goes from uh, boxing, and uh, that means that you are saved or you do something in last moment. Um, for example, you were saved by the bell. And uh, the teacher mm, didn't ask him. Він був врятований в останній момент, і вчителька його не запитала. The next one is to punch above one's weight. That means that you are not... Mm, uh, we can use it not just in uh, sport, for example, but also if we speak about some small company or something like this or even country but uh, if they had some really big opportunities big uh, uh, um, benefits or profits uh, in Ukrainian that means грати в вищій вазі тобто боротися в вищій вазі for example um, our small country Punches above um, above weight in international level. Наша маленька країна бореться на міжнародному рівні. And maybe uh, the last one for today is to throw in the towel. It's the synonym to um, give up. That means that it also goes from boxing, <laughs> and that means that um, you wanna just to be saved by someone. So, uh, for example, he threw in the towel, and uh, and decided not to take part in competition. Він здався і вирішив не брати участь. I hope that you everything will be clear for you and I'm sure that you can use this items even in your everyday life. It's not some something inappropriate yeah, for some of your different your needs and something like this. And also you can even try to speak with your friends in English using these items and I'm sure that that will be really very really good and very interesting. So I wish you good luck and hope that um, uh, may the words be in your favor. So goodbye!